Instead of rally clapping, it looks really good now. Thank you. Thank you, Honk Bonerfart. I said I'm probably going to follow you guys until we intercept. And then Is he with off. Sally right now? By himself. Oh. Six for us. Yeah, we'll be on Highway 287, probably uh, east southeast of Electra. May drop south. Turn left in that uh, 2.3. Yep. We always end up down here in these big events at Oakland. I feel like I've been here like at least a thousand times. What's wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs> Alex! Captain Vanover would have put those guys in her place. She would have. Aw, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> Still here in spirit. It feels like he's still in here. In he is, yeah, he's still back there. I see him. I thought mad we didn't play the surface low today. We should have played the warm front today. <laughs> Woo! Actually, the best, the, the right play today was to be down at Seymour, probably, but we're on the storm now. It's pulling in more inflow there south there of Electra. It's got to break away from that storm behind it and look out. We're now we're gonna have to do a hook slice. They said, you definitely are here. We can hear you asking about Northern Kansas right now. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> you should have played the surface low. That's what we played yesterday. Right, you really can't go wrong with a surface though. Might as well just work it. Dry line events used to go big. Well, yesterday was kind of a dry line event. It looks good. It's starting to break away from that inflow. Only 14 minutes from Electra. Go with Carn A. South Electra? Yeah, I got the yeah. east west road. That runs. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. Carney? Yeah, Carney. Yeah. So, Carney, put your pinky up when you see it. That might be Carney, actually. I know it's Carney in Oklahoma. Yeah, no, not, not the same thing. Carney. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. This makes me want Carney to sign up. The fat kid. I'm so hungry right now, my stomach hurts. See that? World's small smile end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that tornado warning deck on our storm is out for 42 more minutes. Wow.
Connor said he got caught in the conga line. Look at these open roads down here. Kingfisher still has that tornado warning, but. Right now, ours has to be outflow dominant to make sense at the moment. Yeah. See that outflow sticking out of the nose, but uh, it didn't catch up. I need some of that convection to get some press behind it. The lecture's included in a tornado one. Look, it's trying to pull in a couple of inflow streamers, maybe. Oh, there it is, a little, little ball. It could wrap back in, you know, right there, that outflow. I think that's the RFD. I think it wraps back into me. Yeah. Wraps back right in. Whoa! Oh! I think I'm just gonna start clapping when I see things I like. Sport. Bob doing down there? Where's he at? <laughs> Miami. What? Where's he at? I don't know. Miami. Oh, he is? It looks like Miami. And then the uh, Steiny said that's where he was going. That contract. <laughs> Brian, Brian just sent me a text. Oh yeah, info streamer solidifying. Right. Yep. Gotta oh, get on it. Nice little couple going there, huh? Get there. He probably doesn't remember that combo. Told you what? No way. Yeah, we got a little hook popping out on our storm, Brian. It's uh, increasing its tornado potential. at the tip of the hook down there. Let's type in Carney. Um, we'll wait till we get to Electra. Wait till you, wait till you get to uh, Well, we're almost to Electra, aren't we? About six miles. Let me see. Get to Electra. I'm interested in that hook area. Yeah. There's a I found redoing on Carney, which is south of this pit. Yeah, 25? Yeah. yeah, you can do that. Okay, catch this. Sure, and then uh, if we need to go north, we have highway options here and here. So. Perfect. Pin that as well. Oh, wait, we pinned a little earlier. Just giving you a position update on where they are here. So here's this tornado warn storm. It's the same one as you see here. It's just different software. This one can tell us uh, better where they are relative. So here they are here and they're going to be punching down here. Uh, they're going to be sort of, well, we'll see how the roads take it, but they may be punching through the core. This there can be, there's some hail right here. So we'll see if we get some hail on the way down here, but they want to get into this area right here. 
here's the bear's cage and here would be the tornado so they're they're working their way down here on this tornado warrant storm and connor up there is just north of oklahoma city and it looks like he is maybe chasing this north but he's got a whole bunch of traffic of other chasers and anyway these guys are closing in on this. Is that Thunder 1? By 20. Good. Now they're up 3-0. Yeah, uh, it's basically all. They won? Up by 20 again. They killed them. Man, that's what should have happened the first game, too. Yeah, should have. We, we were there. That's what I was I would have bet on all the games. <laughs> <laughs> that first game made you hold back. Yeah. Well, I just I can't. Off the brakes for a minute. Sample some of those baseballs. I like, know, oh, I see one. Saw a lot of them yesterday, and the Starlink was fine. That flex tape must be working up there. Yeah, it didn't look good. I looked at it. Put in a warning, there it is. We are now in the tornado warning, and we're going to drop south at Electra. Right here. getting organized. You want a cyclonically curved four flank gust front. Shaped just like the holograph. Yeah. Looks like it's had decent air in front of it. Well, yeah, there's nothing out there. Just yeah. like all heat. Crazy. That's a motorcycle. You better get the heck out of here. <laughs> Texas storm that we've been watching so intensely, intensely, I should say. 
reflectivity on the storm coming up towards Electra in Iowa Park. Once again, looks so insane. <laughs> it looks like a storm that's really about to rear up and produce a tornado. Velocity, not so much. Uh, however, uh, that could change pretty quick here um, as we see the storm continue to try to ramp up. Here we go. Alex just texted me all caps. Mega storm. Oh, really? Yes. All right. All right. New tornado warning. Way you over yonder. Never see it up here. Yeah, yeah, in after northern after. Oklahoma. For this line. 11 miles to that northeast option. Of. Like a, a pretty much a line of storms uh, that's coming through Granola and Foraker. Now, there is a lot of convergence here, and there's a couple different areas where a tornado could occur uh, up and down that line. So we've got we've to gotta take shelter out here in northern Oklahoma in uh, the, the, the Foraker area. You guys have been watching for a while you know the official yeah, here, diet the of big the uh, Ryan Hall y'all stream hey, is uh, hamburger patties Ooh. and I that's, that's what I did know. have for lunch uh, but today yeah. it's been such a busy week and weekend uh, today calls for well, uh, something extra so we got we got blizzards here at the weather house just delivered quick before we get back into the coverage here I, I do want to shout out Andrew Ridgeway uh, for the incredible 50 gifted Ryan Hall y'all memberships that's big that's a lot that's huge and thank you so much and congratulations to all the people who now have memberships who can join us for our members only exclusive pre live streams I know I've missed a lot of the the chat here. I just happened to look over and see that. If you are just now tuning in, we currently have, what do we have? Six tornado warnings and 12 severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, I'm gonna take you through all of those. Right now, we're gonna do another tour across America, starting in Wisconsin, ending in Texas, unless we get interrupted by some breaking weather information in between then. But first, I, I, I got to try this thing out. A new tornado warning has been issued. Pretty good. Okay, so I've got to start way up here in Wisconsin, okay? We currently have a severe thunderstorm warning for Dickeyville, Cuba, and Jamestown in Wisconsin. It's rotating a little bit, but it's not quite uh, rotating enough to con considerably uh, concern us about a tornado. And they yeah, that's that. Got to be the forward plank and then all the way down. Actually just extended that all the way out to Darlington, yeah, Wisconsin. So that's up in Wisconsin. We're talking about inch in diameter hail and potentially 60 mile per hour winds, which is nothing to balk at. 60 mile per hour winds can cause damage. Make sure you got the trampoline tied down out there. And then also, we've got a severe thunderstorm warning just to the south and west of Cedar Rapids, okay? Uh, also rotating a little bit, uh, not quite enough to prompt a tornado warning, but uh, 60 mile per hour winds, tornado warning inch and diameter hail is possible there. Additionally, we have a tornado warning for Newtown, Missouri. All right. This is getting there. close to Maybe Iowa, but it's not quite there. Um, 
and uh, it is rotating, uh, and it's coming up towards Harris and Newtown. You guys should take shelter uh, if you haven't already. Uh, however, the rotation is not, um, it's not crazy, okay? So I'm really hoping that's going to die out soon. We do have a string of a super a couple strings of supercells trying to form here uh, south of this in Missouri. If any of these get really strong, they will be in an environment that would be favorable for producing tornadoes. So we're really watching uh, this whole area right here. We just got that new tornado warning in Kansas, Fredonia. This is seriously some of the exact areas we were talking about yesterday. Fredonia, G Guilford, New Albany, New Albany uh, Kansas. You're under a tornado warning. Uh, Coyville, you guys are as well. Uh, same thing for you guys in Toronto. By the way, neither of these are confirmed. We did this one was. Uh, they took that off. They're both radar indicated. Radar indicated tornado warning for uh, Moline, Kansas as well. We got a radar indicated tornado warning for uh, the Foraker. Uh, area in Oklahoma, and then a huge severe thunderstorm warning that includes Ponca City here uh, for up to 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, an inch, 1.75, 1.75 inch in diameter hail. That's golf balls. Big tornado warning that goes all the way up past Marshall now uh, to the west of Crescent and Stillwater in um, uh, Oklahoma uh, for this big rotating storm here that's going in this direction. Uh, it looks to me like this is definitely um, still rotating, but it might be a little bit less than what we were seeing earlier. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. We're, we've got a little bit of a interaction going on between these two cells. Uh, sometimes that interaction can actually enhance the, the, the front cell. Sometimes it can n it kind of interrupt the process that would kind of uh, normally take place to create a tornado. So maybe that's what's happening here. Uh, regardless, Marshall, o Oklahoma needs to be prepared for potentially uh, a tornado here at some point in the future. Little severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag out here near Medicine Park. Oklahoma. It's not really rotating much, but it's producing some small hail and some gusty winds as it goes up towards Apache. Now, the bigger storms, probably the biggest storms that we have right now uh, are these in Texas, and um, they're currently going up towards Electra. In fact, Electra, you are right now experiencing some really uh, strong winds, probably some large hail, potentially 2.75 inch in diameter hail that's if you ever hear that and you're like what does that mean it's about the size of baseballs um and uh, also uh, a tornado potentially uh trying to form here just to the south of town uh, that tornado would move between iowa park and electra along uh, 287 near folks uh, if it forms there's your velocity not seeing any tight rotation but we do have once again some storm chasers on this storm oh, wow. and um, we'll be able to look at it if something happens with that oh, the whole thing is ripping. Yeah, it is. and then this is trying to happen oh. uh inch and three quarters uh, hail see, uh, down here to the yet. south of that as well seymour you've there. been dodging be bullets there. all day we had a big tornado just go to your north earlier uh, but now we've got some big time hail makers kind of floating off to your west. Eventually, this line will kind of mosey on east far enough to impact you. Uh, but it might be a little while from now before that happens. So, so stay tuned here. So that's pretty much the, the full scope of what we've got going on right now. Yeah, I think it'll propagate up, hit that, and bang. Maybe by Marshall. Okay, uh, Nick Gorman just uh, reached out and said that he's going to put himself close to the storm up here near Marshall, so we will have a view of this thing after this merger happens. Did you get all those tornadoes? Yeah. Uh, Down near Seymour? Uh, yeah. Was it pretty big? Wow. Yeah. Nice work. I gotta take a leak. 
I gotta go to the bathroom. Got a bunch Sorry, we're, we're of storm here. chasers out there today. Close to 30 in total is who we're um, coordinating with. It's happening, isn't it? Am I just hey, Ron, right it's there? Chris. We are coming into Crescent. We're, we got a view of this storm from the southeast. This we storm does color. look pretty good uh, structurally here. Um, we're going to go on up to Marshall and uh, get in front of it and see right. uh, what it does as we move on to the north. But it does look a little bit better uh, visually, uh, structurally. So, Ready? Photo quick? Yeah. It that was down. the voice of Chris Hall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, awesome. Oh, that's right. Good to see you. Um, Good to see you again. I, uh, I do want to say, uh, while we're just kind of waiting yeah, on these next couple of frames to come in for, from the radar, um, instability uh, out here in front of these storms is still uh, really, you know, it's there. Uh, also, wind shear is increasing. Let's go on, let's turn around. So, turn I don't want anybody to feel like we're... Line, uh, near the end of this event um, don't get me wrong we, we might be past the halfway down? point maybe I don't know but um, we've still got a long ways to go before we can completely let our guard down here especially in, in Oklahoma um, there's plenty of instability there's um, uh, maybe more storms coming into a more favorable air mass here and uh, the wind shear is only going to get more and more favorable for tornadoes as we go later into the evening so It'll be interesting to see what happens there. The Sierra side. And we're going to be with you the entire time. Hey, Ryan, we're about to put slices. We're coming in from uh, um, Hennessy on Highway, State Highway 51. Uh, strengthening circulation just to our side. Ground circulation back there. Did you see that? Those Brad those Arnold is curtains? saying that he's about to hook slice this storm, which means that he's going to do a maneuver where he goes through the hook and comes out the other side. Yeah, none of the halls that are storm chasers are related. Every time I look yeah, at chat, this is probably gonna do it. there's a question look about that. that. Look at it go. Every single time, that's... Oh. Pretty hot. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, this is cool. Oh my gosh. I, that should be the last time that that happens. But, um, this is cool. These digital billboards in Oklahoma. Um, just jumping in for those of you new. I, I like the that. Front part of the clouds. That should be more of a thing. Clouds. You'll see the whole thing is rotating. I like that a lot. I don't think I've really ever seen that. I have a view of the storm in uh, Marshall, Oklahoma. That was the voice of Nick Gorman. Let's look at his stream. that to the northeast a little bit could be there yep look at that little nub dub bomb this is the storm the north. that's approaching marshall uh oklahoma the one that we are currently kind of honed in on as it is trying to produce a tornado it's been trying for a really really long a new time. tornado warning it's been successful has been a few times 
We just got a new tornado warning in Missouri. Let's fly to it. Good. Newtown. Lemon. Lemons? Lucerne. Terry. Uh, Terra Holt. Terra Holt. Midway, Quinn, all of you guys are under a new tornado warning here in uh, Missouri. Unionville, you're almost included in that. And this is the same storm that Andy brought our attention to a while ago, I believe. Um, and it's still rotating a little bit as it comes up here, enough to prompt a tornado warning. So take shelter if you're in any of those counties. Back to Texas. And we've got a couple areas. A new of tornado warning now in Texas has been issued. It, it's a little messy, the mode now. It's not the same as it was where we had that one big supercell that was kind of uh, taking up all of the ingredients in the atmosphere. But the problem is now we have two. Um, and even though they are kind of interfering with each other, uh, that, that's double the A new the tornado of warning them has been issued. Actually be able to create a tornado here. So I would watch out in Iowa Park and Wichita Falls once again. And then Electra and Burke Burnett in Texas. That looks like a pretty dangerous uh, situation right there. I go north. A little pickle. Kansas. Yeah. New tornado warning for Cedarvale. I don't know how many times... Cedarvale has been under a tornado warning today, uh, but you're, you're, it's happening. And again, take shelter now in Hewins, Cloverdale as well. Um, probably a little bit more of a concerning signature on radar uh, back here towards Toronto. Uh, they're pulling out in front of everybody out here. Kansas. Hopefully everybody in Toronto, Kansas is in their safe spot as well. We've got words from meteorologist Andy Hill. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, I had good wind radar up all this time, and then my Nuzzo analysis page started glitching, so I was distracted. But good wind radar, sure enough, there's a tornado warning all the way up there into west central northwest Kansas now approaching Oakley. That's more of our... Um, way way back in there i don't even know what to call that it's just northwest of our low pressure system just about there so um i think that is all a bunch of side lobe rotation but it does show us that there is a rotating part of the storm just not totally legitimate uh, we can infer that this is wor worth a tornado warning for sure though and i would have done the same okay uh thank you very much meteorologist andy hill flying us way out west here to Kansas, uh, West Kansas, now Elk, Elkader, um, where we've got a radar indicated tornado warning um, associated with this little uh, storm back here. Let me play the loop here. Let's watch the, the movement. Yeah, looking, looking like it's moving almost due north here. Uh, eventually towards Oakley and Grinnell. So, yeah, tornado warning, precautionary tornado warning for Elkader. Um, take shelter now. El Cater, got gotcha. you. If you need help, yell when you had him, and I'll come over there and we'll do it together. And this town in Oklahoma right here is Four Raker, not Four Raker, like I've been saying. I'm sorry. Let's check back in on our storm chaser 
infested storm here near Marshall. It's not it's not doing much now. This thing has been trying for a while uh, to produce a tornado. Um, it hasn't been able to successfully do so. It's going to be able to try again, uh, but right now it's it's kind of falling apart. But this is nowhere near uh, the end of the life for that supercell. I uh, would continue to watch out and make sure I'm in my safe spot in Electra and Burke Burnett. And um, also, uh, whoa, velocity doesn't look that great, but uh, reflectivity here uh, on this storm in Texas is really concerning looking. In the last little bit, it looks like a, a tornado might be trying to spin up here. Um, however, we're going to wait uh, one more frame to go too hard on that still there is a tornado warning associated with this for electra so please uh take shelter now we've also got uh, baseball size hail possible with this one but when it changes carriers sometimes there's a little down period it'll, it'll even out Here's that, uh, excessive rain, uh, risk once again. I think that, uh, some of the biggest flooding right now that's occurring, um, is a little bit on the northwestern side of that moderate risk there. Um, but we do expect a lot more rain later tonight, uh, in south central and in a little bit of southeastern Oklahoma. Um, this is going to be... Uh, potentially uh, an even more uh, life-threatening situation than the tornado threat tonight. Uh, with the, the flash flooding is going to be incredibly um, uh, bad if we get the amount of rain that we expect that we're going to get. Left or right. Windy. Yeah. And Nick Busby has a a new tornado a warning has right been issued. Back behind you. Back there, I guess. They just issued a new tornado right warning there. for the original circulation with the Electra storm. So Electra, Texas is under two tornado warnings essentially. One of them is for that new um, cell that's kind of spinning up right now. Uh, and then the other one was just now issued for the circulation that's basically over yeah, Electra at this moment. So Burke Burnett, get back to shelter. Grandfield, you guys too. A new tornado warning has been issued. And another new tornado warning in Missouri. We've got 10 tornado warnings right now. This one's going to include Millgrove, Topsy, Wintersville, Harris, and Spickard. And uh, there's a decent amount of rotation right here between Shot and Tyndall. That could mean that there's a tornado forming and moving up towards Spickard. Half Rock, Millgrove, Topsy, and Harris take shelter now. There continues to be a tornado warning for Lucerne, Lemons, and Unionville as well up here in Missouri. There also continues to be a tornado warning for Toronto, Kansas, and Guilford, Kansas, and uh, also Hewins, Kansas, and 
areas just east of Foraker, Oklahoma. Of course, we also have our tornado warning from Marshall, Oklahoma. Which is where a lot of our storm chasers are right now. And then we've got our collection of tornado warnings uh, associated with our storms here moving uh, through Electra and up towards Burke Burnett. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Brian, look at uh, the Goodland radar. You can see a, a blip to the south of the tornado warning already rotating a significant amount. So um, very impressive amount of vorticity ongoing in the atmosphere down here. And again, I would not be surprised if these storms produce tornadoes since we're looking at them 4,500 feet above the surface here. And they have that sort of look to them also in an environment that's very heavily uh, sheared at the surface, especially. Uh, so I, I just about bet that somebody is seeing a, a nice, uh, clear look at a tornado as well. These tend to be highly visible over in this region and around this part of the low pressure center. Wow. Thank you very much, Andy. We've got a, a major blip here uh, just to the south of our tornado warning near El Cater. Um, uh, this, I mean, this is actually competing with uh, the presentation that we saw from our uh, blip from April 15th. Um, uh, but uh, El Cater, you guys are still under a tornado warning. And uh, uh, you guys need to uh, take shelter. We might see another uh, storm kind of uh, evolve out of this blip here soon. Because remember, guys, every storm starts out as a blip. Man, the hail core on our Texas storm down here moving up towards Electra is really, really cranking. Big hail, lots of rain, damaging winds uh, are going to be possible here. Once again, that's baseball sized hail. Uh, and then also the rotation is picking up a little bit to the east of Electra. You can see that uh, we've got some a lot of inbound winds here. We'll see what happens uh, in the near future here as this storm tries to deal with the interaction that's happening with the, the big storm to the south. This could be a situation where we see a quick, you know, uptick in rotation with the storm right here. Nick Gorman and Brett Adair seem to have something on their feeds, and they're up there towards Marshall. Um, so let's pull them up full. This is a live view from Brett Adair near Marshall, Oklahoma. There definitely is a supercell here that's rotating. The rotation doesn't look nearly as good as it did earlier, but this is one of the more uh, impressive looking real life, uh, you know, features we've seen on the storm in, in a minute, I guess. Nick's got it. Brad Arnold's got it. Nick, okay. Brett, Bryce Shelton. We've got multiple angles here of the storm. As it moves up towards Marshall, Oklahoma, you guys are under a tornado warning, so make sure you are in your safe spots. All the way up there towards Hayward, Oklahoma as well. I, there must have been some sort of sudden cellular outage right where all those guys are because they all froze at the exact same time. Are you doing that, Chandra? Oh, yeah. Rapid motion. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got them back now. Midway Church Road. Yeah, you can turn left here. Ooh, you see that motion at the base, you guys? It's in phase. Or, uh, uh, gravel. All right, it's not gravel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
What a joke. Wow. Uh, yes, um, I saw somebody in the chat ask about Kansas City. Kansas City is under a tornado watch oh, tonight yeah, until about midnight. Um, let's go back over here and check in on our blip. It is blipping. That's for sure. Hold on. Every storm starts out as a blip, a little bitty blip. Taking moisture from the ground, call it a double dip, but I don't give a flip. Little blips, they can rip, you can feel it in your hip. Never underestimate a blip. Never. Never underestimate a blip. We still have video. Once again, this is a good reminder to also remind you that Elk Gator, uh, Kansas back here, is under a tornado warning. Uh, Olaf the Black says uh, you need to make blip merch as someone who lives in Kansas City I've got my go bags packed but I'm hoping um, yeah I'm I'm hoping that nothing bad happens um, we I we do <laughs> believe it or not there there is such a thing as blip merch it exists um, if you're just a new now tornado tuned in, warning if you just been now issued. tuned in during the blip song you had to be there but, you know, um, if you are here for some weather information, I do have some weather information for you, okay? Um, Burke Burnett and Grand Field along the border of Texas and Oklahoma uh, is under a tornado warning, all right? And then we have this big string of supercells training over uh, these same areas over and over again, north and west of Seymour. And now we've got a huge flash flood warning associated with that as well. That's going to cause some big problems out here, I think. Definitely read Timber Channel first, close to a possible tornado. But we can't hear screaming. We're looking straight up right now. This tendril kind of going down. There you can see the cut. That type of cut, the cut on the cloud. Brad Arnold. Uh, Brad Arnold, once again, is right underneath where the tornado uh, should be. And so is Nick Gorman. But we're close. We're almost back. Nick Gorman currently is and on the road here, Highway 74, right underneath where the, uh, the updraft is rotating and, and would generally uh, try to cause a, a tornado if it was going to happen. I don't see one right now. But you can see that Brad's on that same road. Uh, yeah, I do chase. I've seen 30 tornadoes, but most of it was Nick, during storm chase. Uh, Busby in is in Holiday, Texas, pointing his camera back towards those storms right, that uh, are, are causing the flash flooding uh, a the little rotation. bit to, to the north and west of Seymour. Also, right. this is, you know, we do have a Here's tornado warning Here's back here as well. The storm and then it hooks out. I really don't think that he would, Tornadoes from his vantage point, I don't think he would be able to right see there. the rotating so part are, very well. As you saw a moment ago, we looked straight up but right underneath. We do have a, an SLC the there. Rotation. A scientific term uh, known as the scary looking so cloud. Just tracking along with it right now. Seems like they had their hands full, but excuse me. All right, what 
can we see on radar here? Let's switch over to this baby. Mm -mm. This is velocity. This shows the direction of the uh, of the winds. Go ahead, Andy. We try. It helps us hey, to Ryan, see where the circulation is. I just found that the most amazing tornado ever is taking place south of Marinthol and southeast of Leodi in northwest Kansas, just over fields and fields of farmland uh, in west central Kansas. This is a that is weird. Totally weird. Think right in that um that furthest south part of the line there, and in that a little reflectivity blob that there's probably a tornado going on there. Let's just enjoy um, it. Wow. But it's beautiful. I bet you're right. I don't know. I, I don't think I haven't I haven't seen anything yet. There, uh, every storm chaser in America is probably in Oklahoma right now. Um, Dave, is but, the audio out of sync? Yeah, I, I would say you're right. These are probably no. producing very photogenic um, tornadoes out in the middle of uh, empty fields right now. Um, so yeah, that, that's why we have a couple of tornado warnings back here in West Kansas. West. Uh, yeah, West Kansas, south and east of Goodland. I think it. I think it is. Incredible stuff. Continuing to watch the big storm move towards Holiday, Texas. Uh, from Nick Busby, um, and his uh, his vantage point. There is a little bit of the, a rotating part of the storm the uh, to the south and west of Iowa Park and south of Electra. That that this could be he could be pointing his uh, camera towards that, that for us, but I, muted. it's not rotating enough to where <laughs> I think it's going to produce a tornado anytime soon. Working on that audio, guys. Can you tell me more about the tornado in Kansas? My grandma is in a bath near Fall River Lake. I will show you this. One thing that is happening. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So first of all, as of right now, there is only one uh, tornado warning in Kansas, um, and it's for extreme south. Well, I'm sorry. There's they three tornado no warnings in Kansas. Two of them are in no, West Kansas. I don't. We also. I don't think that's what you're talking about. Um, uh, the but they're, they're have a tornado possibly developing here. We don't know, uh, but if we animate this here. There's this. one tornado warning down here for Cloverdale and Cedarvale and Sedan. Um, that one's going to be uh, allowed to expire in 10 minutes. Um, uh, but and it is, you know, probably going to be reissued here soon for. There's a little down. Oh, really? Okay. Our, I'll call it our Southwestern End Sam uh, storm there. So, new name for that one. I love it. 
Uh, thank you, Andy. Our southwestern end, Sam Storm here, is right in between uh, Knox City and Monday, which is a place that we were talking about a lot earlier as we had that huge supercell producing a tornado a couple hours ago. Now we've got another um, uh, pretty strong storm here um, uh, trying to hook up and, and, and do the same thing maybe uh, as it goes back up towards Monday and Gory or Gore in Texas. A new tornado watch has been issued. We got a new tornado watch that includes portions of Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin, it seems. Yeah, look at this. New tornado watch that includes Burlington, Cedar Rapids, Dubuque, uh, not quite up to Madison, Wisconsin, and just a little bit north and east of Kirksville, Missouri. Tornado Watch. a huge RFD bulge. So we've got... Um, I did it again. Tornadic potential. But they're back. All across the U.S. Here, here in the here middle too. section. See that, Sierra? From Wisconsin now all the way down yeah. into Texas. See the convection above? Right here. You can get a rover. Okay, ready? Rover. And we are uh, broadcasting to you from Eastern Kentucky. It's currently 23Z, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Mountain, 4 Pacific. Enterol Forte to najsilniejszy lek probiotyczny o podwójnym działaniu. Chroni jelita podczas terapii antybiotykowej i szybciej przywraca równowagę. To jest lek. Dla bezpieczeństwa stosuj go zgodnie z ulotką dołączoną do opakowania. Zwróć uwagę na wszystkie wskazania w przypadku wątpliwości. So, we're still not even halfway in. We're down to five tornado warnings. still have a team of some of the best uh, storm chasers in the world giving us live feeds from around Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas right now. Um, but uh, at so this moment, I don't think that we have a, a tornado down. See on that? the ground at this very moment. See that white thing. It's probably just if we thing. do, it's going to be uh, in this storm over here Look coming into to, to Sedan and Peru in Kansas. Um, also, you know, it might be the one that's coming over here towards a Bollinger Landing uh, in northeast uh, Oklahoma, uh, north and west of Bartlesville. But, um, you know, the radar's showing some broad rotation there, but I don't necessarily see a... Uh, uh, a, a huge signature uh, right now. So we, we've got a bunch of radar indicated uh, tornado warnings and a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings. Um, I'm hoping that we continue to see uh, a little bit, um, uh, you know, that, that total Oof. tornado warning number lower. I hope we continue to see that. Um, uh, 
for quite some time, but I, I do think that we're going to see another uptick here at some point. Okay. <laughs> go back. Yeah, go north. Yep. Here we go, guys. Hey, Ryan, it's Chris. If you want a view of the Chaser Convergence line coming east out of this previously tornado warned cell, my That's golly. Uh, Chris Hall's got uh, Chaser Convergence on his feed. You had a weird feeling um, about today. Uh, if you can look at that, Chandra, and see if we can pull that up. Um, but whenever you hear them talk about uh, Chaser Convergence, what we're talking about is just the massive amount of chasers who are literally causing traffic jams out here as they are trying to look at water vapor spinning around. Um, which, which obviously we understand it. Like I get it. Um, but there's a lot of people who are, especially whenever these risks happen in Oklahoma, there's a lot of uh, disaster and uh, tornado tourists out there who, you know, it can sometimes cause a pretty dangerous situation. No. Uh, storm chaser Zach Hall is telling me that he's headed south for the storms that are crossing the Red River. So he's way up there ah. north near. Looking back at radar, like blue, it's blue. Chickasha, um, Oklahoma, and he's actually going to go all the way down towards Lawton and Geronimo, Geronimo uh, to try to intercept two things fast. Some of these storms that are coming yes. out of Texas. What you hear is the windshield wipers. If you think it annoys you, oh, it really annoys them. Yeah. We'll fix it when we can. Oh, yeah. Second, Rain X um, does not work every on bulletproof glass that we have. We have uh, wow. that is all. A, a new scan here that comes through on the uh, on the radar. We, we do see something that looks a little bit more um, organized here on the uh, rotation yeah. south left. It's all blob back here in the cycle quick. This is in northern Oklahoma. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm watching that storm probably most intensely right now. If you're in Bollingerville or Hula in uh, Oklahoma or Chautauqua in southern uh, Kansas, you should really watch out for this storm. Also, um, wouldn't be surprised to see um, maybe a continuation of the tornado warning up here uh, near Chanute uh, for Humboldt, Kansas. Uh, that rotation is not let up, really. We're in a little bit of a radar hole, so we can't really see it. Uh, but you can tell that, that they're probably going to try to continue that warning up for Humboldt, Kansas here soon. Unfortunately, we have to, we're going to have to take 287 back southeast again. Yep. Then we go north of Pleasant Valley. Yeah. Um, and yeah, once again, Olaf, we do have the blip stuff. It is there. Catherine Joy, thank you so much for that. Larry Powers, thanks for becoming an official sponsor. How's the storm going into Wichita Falls? Well, Mr. Moo, 
Let's go check on that for you. Um, the storm coming into Wichita Falls is really kind of non-existent right now. We don't have um, a storm coming right into Wichita Falls, but there is a storm to the north and west of Wichita Falls that has a tornado warning associated with it. Um, and that's going more towards the Burke Burnett area, um, but the rotation is not very intense right now, so that's good news. Uh, I am concerned ab about what I'm seeing, though. If you really look at this segment of precipitation, I, you know, I thought we were going to have more of a linear mode of storms here, but now what I see very clearly is three, maybe four separate supercells uh, that are kind of separated from each other here, and they're going to continue to go up into right up here, Oklahoma uh, and enter a more favorable environment to where uh, tornadoes are certainly going to be possible this evening. Um, so keep that in mind. These storms are probably going to be ones that we have to watch all the way up there towards Lawton, an area south of Oklahoma City later. Hey, Ron, it's Chris. When you got a minute. Just like May 6, we 2007. We always got a minute, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Couple farts. Hey, Ron, me and Riley have something to tell you, and it may be the biggest thing right now. So if you look just west of OKC, we have a blip. <laughs> we have a blip. <laughs> just west of Oklahoma City. Yeah, I mean, hey, there's actually a couple of blips here. Um, once again, we've been waiting to see if there's going to be new uh, convection. <laughs> Riley, thank you for, and Chris, thank you for reporting the blip. Very important stuff, uh, but we've been wondering if there's uh, going to be new convection that pops up in this area, and there is. We see the beginning stages of uh, maybe new storms popping up here between Hobart and Altus, uh, all the way up here just to west of El Reno in Oklahoma City. Yeah. So now our attention is going to kind of go towards some of that as well. Oh, um, as if that stuff blows up uh, oh, into good. some oh, big okay. storms, that's we could be looking actually. at another situation well, where um, uh, tornadic activity is going to be more possible there. Oh, tornado! Just kidding. Damn it, Jordan! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, Actually, look at those rain. Yeah. They are dancing. Yeah, they are. Like, switching the board. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, you got a minute? Yeah, I got a minute. Our farthest north and east yeah. uh, severe thunderstorm warning right now is way up here in Wisconsin. It's for Argyle or Argyle, Pottsville, New Glarus, and Exeter, <coughs> Wisconsin. Um, and it's actually rotating enough to uh, have a tornado possible tag on it. Um, 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail is going to be the main threat, though. Our southwesternmost severe thunderstorm warning is way down here in Texas for Seymour and Monday in uh, Texas. It's also rotating enough uh, to be watched uh, for maybe the potential for a tornado. In the future. So um, <laughs> just really interesting stuff uh, uh, happening in a, in a very large area here. Yeah. Oh, I like it. On the left side, yeah, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Fun. that was a funnel. Yeah. Let's go there, actually. That whole area is nice and low. That left side. Yeah. It's easier now. That was a that, that was a funnel halfway down. Oh yeah, look at it. Probably some of the more oh, wow. intense oh, rotation that we can see right now. <laughs> That's actually about the border to happen. between uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. What in the world has Brandon Clement got here? Yeah, maybe it keeps going. Now that is an SLC if I've ever seen one. That's a good one. That 
that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, lots of uh, rising, uh, you know, uh, you know condensation like there from Brandon Clements' point of view. Hundred percent. I chased this kind of storm. SLC before. stands for scary looking cloud, y'all. Maybe here on the right side we can get a, a little ripper. Future. That ain't happening with that out there, so. That's a whale's mouth, folks. Um, uh, going out shout out to dominant. Ryan Ooh. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> um, first, the, the kind words there says, uh, Ryan and Andy, I respect what y'all yeah, are doing a lot. As someone that went to school for meteorology, you Push are informative and helpful without creating hysteria and panic. This is the future of weather coverage, and you are making it happen now and saving lives. A new tornado warning shape has been issued. New tornado warning. Guess where? Yeah. Honk. Yeah, I gave him the, the honk symbol. About 20 minutes from an car. Really? Yeah. Kansas. Um, it's going to be associated with the rotation that we've been trying for quite some time now. For, uh, honestly, uh, it's been riding the uh, Oklahoma-Kansas border forever. Um, and it's now moving up towards Peru and Hale and uh, Neates. Uh, so y'all should take yeah, shelter. Yeah, nice the Noble try. County storm is also Dominate. looking more Dominate. and more. Uh, I guess impressive. Yeah, it is out full um, dominant, everybody. We like can show you the north view. Goes. So, we got uh, an we're also keeping a very close eye on it. Storm. Just, just some, yeah, it's real ugly. It's like it happens with the trough. Probably put uh, uh, Freddie in one. Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Got a glancing blow down here. So the whale's mouth is the cloud pattern, that rough cloud pattern you're seeing there. It's basically like cold air means the storm is outflow dominant or a line of storm. That was that energy, right? No. So left Noble exit up there. Uh, outflow <laughs> dominant. Which is where all these storm chasers are. This is the same storm that uh, tried to produce a tornado down there near um, Hinton earlier. Um, and it's still going, and it's and still rotating enough to is like, actually uh, show us a, a wow, little bit of a there. there. Oh my God, is um, that Scott City? Storm Chasers are still sending us a, a video of that. We don't have currently a tornado warning or even a tornado possible. That is just uh, Northwest of Scott City. Look at that little bean. This. But um, it, this is expected to drop some big hail in Marlin and Red Rock, and of course we're watching that little. So glad we're not on know, that. Um, <laughs> protruding part of the storm for rotation. Hey, no, I don't need to be out now. <laughs> Ooh, left greenage, guys. Oh my gosh. Justin uh, Pet, uh, Petternail. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, Also, just uh, gifted 50 Ryan Hall Y'all memberships. That's 100 people now who have gotten uh, just a random free membership. Uh, does everybody say thank you to Justin. That's huge. We have something like, uh, we've got thousands of members uh, now. Well, I remember when we first started the What a textbook whale's the, mouth the channel. The we had like uh, 30. 
uh, for a long time, <laughs> and you know it was it was great. Uh, but now the members Stop only watch. Stop here. Look back at it. Stop up here. This next exit. Rooms are, uh, are are insane. Like we had a, a thousand, a couple thousand people watching the members only live stream before this one started. So welcome aboard, y'all. Welcome aboard. Thank you, and thank you to Justin. Check this out, y'all. Oh my goodness, that looks great. I'm gonna pull over here. Yeah, enjoy it, man. Michael Beard is in Holiday, Texas. He's back on the move. You can see him going back towards one of those storms there that's uh, prompting the tornado warning near Burt Burnett. That storm has continuously looked like it's about to uh, produce a tornado for a while. Um, it hasn't, uh, and you know, it still looks like it's about to. So once this crosses the Red River into Oklahoma, I think it's going to end. Welcome to the garden. To a little bit more of a favorable environment, and we'll see what happens then. The Bicentennial Rose Garden. Uh, Freddie McKinney showing us uh, uh, once again that, that same oh, storm up there near here. Noble County, Oklahoma. Yep. Let's go, Hawks. Let's go, Hawks. Go for it. Gotcha. Okay. I never realized until the other day what a nice uh, football stadium that holds out. Yeah. They have a nice one. Do you have the ability to use like Apple or something like that? For sale? Or is it just Noble. I bet Noble's got a good. Noble has a nice one. Yes. It's really cute. You call it like a small tower. That dog is slow enough to walk there. <laughs> the areas where, uh, I guess the um. We'll do it. There's a, a new tornado warning has been issued. Ingredients right. in place for. Uh, tornadoes over the next little bit are going to be uh, right in he here in front of our storms coming up through Wichita Falls. Uh, also, there's a decent um, environment in place right uh, around on Oklahoma City. But there's currently no storms there to really take advantage of that, though. Um, and then uh, a slightly less favorable, but still somewhat favorable environment hey. all the way up you know through uh, southeast kansas up into oh. Oh. um <laughs> bumped yeah. into you at denton a few weeks ago oh yeah with the uh Dude, we were comparing take we're... a look around this fence man it's got a nice rotation up on this 
yeah, uh, we're just uh, Missouri. And then, of course, we Could have be. this stuff up here in uh, northern Missouri, which continues to prompt uh, tornado warnings. Yeah. Um, Brookfield, yeah, Meadville, nice. take shelter. You got a radar indicated tornado oh, warning. Yeah. It is good having somebody um, outside. That storm it doesn't look incredibly strong, oh, yeah. but certainly <laughs> enough well, now, to pay attention to. So, yeah, those are the, the areas that I'm really looking at over the next yeah, this little bit I mean, as far as where a, the most intense weather it, might like be. But those, that first. zone will change uh, over time. Wrong. It keeps those kind of zones, I should say. Right in this area. Yeah. So, Ooh, yeah, I might do it. Yeah. Probably not, Ooh. but it might. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Hey Ryan, yeah, I'm worried whenever these storms father, get that big whale like to know how many monitors from them. They're hard to get. Uh, Do you have? They're hard to get. I don't know. Let's just find saw that out together. This is kind of something that happens. And Rito is, mentions it. Is that everybody always One, wants to like impress two. Three, with, four. Those that I like. What, four. The, that's the main. Thing. The data they're looking at, and you know, all he does is look at data all, all the time. But still, it's good to see people uh, fall in love with storm chasing and meteorology. Yeah. But technically, five, six. What's up, son? Seven. He's all over eight. it. Nine, Go, ten, eleven. Hi there. <laughs> eleven. You know, if you count the ones that are behind me and in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they were they were yeah. they were almost due south and they Maybe just, we're getting some backing. Yeah. Yeah, you got that tornado warning up near Burke Burnett. I'll throw up the two of you. Um are you kidding? Right north of us. Let's go to Burke Burnett. Good to see you. Um, <laughs> I think but, we're gonna uh, have a little this door. This is a view Burnett. of Nick and Michael Burnett. Burnett. both no, on yeah. uh, different storms <laughs> right, here. On. We'll see up there. But uh, we'll try not uh, so, to. Well, actually, they're on basically the same storm. Uh, Nick and Michael are on that uh, tornado warned uh, storm down here near Wichita Falls. Okay, and they've got a really good view of it. Got it. Burk burn it. Watch there it the is up there. Bump. Yeah. Warned you about it, damn oh, it. Yeah. That is actually where your rotation is up there. I can't see the wall cloud. Yeah. It's not more dominant, but it's still. We'll go east and north to Burke Burnett. Yes, sir. Come on, I, I tried to get you not to run away from it, right? You just kept driving away. No miles. Um, so we're about to see, um, uh, you know, what's hey, going on with the rotating part uh, of the storm. On Interstate 35, uh, right that, huh? the storm. they're coming up from Texas. Uh, it's going to be a little off when we get there, uh, but we're going to try to get those. I think that's your best chance. To try to get them to they're heading into a very good environment. Um, storm mode is obviously a question, but we'll see. Um, we'll be on there in probably about an hour or two. Okay, Brad Arnold's also... Oh, we're still chasing. It was, it was just look, it was just looking less likely. But on the Oklahoma City area, are deciding to go south and see what happens. With these storms. It still can't happen. Or it could. We stop the chasing. Into it might. southern portions. Because yeah. it might get Oklahoma, um, which is probably a, not a uh, bad idea if you're a storm chaser. Better pizza, Papa John's. Yeah, 
A new tornado warning has been issued. Got a new, a new tornado warning in Kansas. That's back there with our, uh, on the northwest side of that low pressure center. Uh, We're gonna chase this into southern Oklahoma. That's our. where we are seeing uh, an outbreak of probably very, uh, very um, photogenic and, and mostly small tornadoes. Uh, this one, uh, if it's producing a tornado right now, um, it's probably gonna go over Highway 83. So watch out if you are traveling between Scott City and El Cater. You guys can see that shelf on your left side. That's our target. Ooh, yeah, that hook is, is punching. Storm. Yeah, it is. They're trying to get up there uh, in that part of the storm that's heading towards Burke Burnett. Is that Kirk? That is, um, you know, kind of hooking a little Kirk bit cousin? on reflectivity to give us a better view of what's going on there, right? Now it looks like a giant spaceship. It is looking good. It's, 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 it's got to be with that curve. Yeah. Again. Type in Randland long term. Just wow, to... that sounds like something I said 10 minutes ago. Oh, you did? Did you? Yes. Randland? Dang, now you know what it feels like to be me. I'm going to take this west option. Tornado, he said, on the ground. Tornado? Tornado on the ground up near Burke Burnett. Rapid motion, yeah, he's on it. It's rapid. He's done. Blowing me up, so he's on it. He's crawling. It does look like Go. there's a big hole in this storm, doesn't it? Right there, that's the eye. We are, we're, we're heading north on it right now. You can see, uh, what? Pretty good view of the the actual the ground? cloud. Is it on the ground? From Michael Beard's. I gotta go. I'm going. It's happening right now. It's probably right out your window, bro. Oh, there's the wall. It's up there. Yeah, you gotta be up there. Maybe it's there, but I thought it was. These guys are getting really close Maybe to this that thing. Maybe that hole's in, but I, I think what we're looking at here is just the the road. It's got to be up around the bend, west of Burke Burnett. That's what I think fits the radar, but that pool right here it looks a little wide. I'm not going to lie. That'd be west or west of us. I, I think that you're looking right here on really the south side of the hook. These guys are really close to this thing, yep. and I, I think what we're looking at here is just the, the rotating uh, edge. I don't know. Of yeah, that looks of, pretty convincing uh, to me. Part of the oh. precipitation that's now coming out to the south. I think it's up here. Clara. So we're looking at this part of the storm here. Just on the ground, he said. Yeah, he's up north right through here, so yeah. it's got to be up right here, pointing to the right. Uh, back up to Kansas. Yeah. We do have a couple of tornado warnings up here. I want to make sure we don't. Uh, in this area. The rotation is let up a little bit, but we still have broad areas of rotation all up and down this line from Elk City to Neotes, Havana, Independence, and Sycamore, Kansas. You guys need to watch out. We've got some severe thunderstorm warnings for Humboldt. Uh, quarter size hail, 60 miles per hour winds are possible. That's a low tech um, right now. And, and then we've got. Uh, starting to get a little some better. Stronger storms south of Overland Park in Kansas City. Uh, same thing. Some... Small hail and down. some gusty winds are possible with those. One remaining a tornado warning in Missouri right now. The rotation is not as impressive as it was before, so <laughs> <laughs> That's good news, but let's allow well, Laclede and Brookfield in Missouri need to be in their safe spots. 
a strong, uh, potentially damaging line of wind is moving through southeastern portions of Iowa right Shoot, now. Way down the flank Okaloosa in and Centerville. Uh, Ottumwa and Bloomfield, they're next in line for the potentially quarter-sized yeah. hail and 60 mile per hour winds that are coming through. A couple yeah. of supercells going through areas north and west of Dubuque. That's rotating near Dyersville. Uh, inch in diameter hail, 60 mile per hour winds, and we also have some um, rotating storms near Arge Argyle Hold and Monticello in, in Wisconsin, and uh, that's rotating enough to actually have a tornado possible tag on it there uh, from the National Weather Service. So we've got storms going all the way up to the Great Lakes as well. Uh, wow. That's crazy. North of Milwaukee, we have strong storms. We just got to get around the bend up here. All the way across. Yeah. Definitely see the lowering. Michigan, we might see those reach all the way over to uh, Michigan before too long. See the rain blob. Switch back. Gotta get the bend up there. Look at this kind of a cool view. Uh, Cope uh, says, I love your coverage. Uh, I'm disappointed though that more chasers I can see it. I see it back there. aren't yep, covering I Kansas. I get those here, areas yeah. are low population, but only seeing the radar is hard. Um, I, I think the reason why probably less people are in Kansas today is it has nothing to do with the population. These guys go yeah, he's on that, anywhere, might have seen and one. they actually prefer it when there's less people that, that live there. Uh, but it's just the, the conditions were more favorable uh, for tornadoes down here in uh, Oklahoma. So that's why the, most of the storm chasers chose to go there. I get what you're saying, though. I wish we had, you know, somebody in every on every single storm that popped up ever. We're back in inflow, right? Or is that inflow? Ian Flow. About 15 minutes from me. Right where we need to be on the outflow side. Yeah, we'll go to the bowl. The bowl. We'll get it in the bowl. That's what I just put in there. I'm happy you're catching up. Our most impressive supercell right now Getting radios. is the one that's being chased by Michael Beard and Which, Nick Busby here, so that's why we're kind of focused in on them. Might end up being kind of annoying, but it, no, it's going to be useful. Plus, it's just fun. A new tornado warning. Uh, I'll update. Has been issued. We got a new tornado warning up there in Kansas. Let's fly to it. Uh... I'll update you on their position. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse Is me. The new one. So here they are. No, the new one's over here. Um, Independent Sycamore. You guys are There's now the audio. Under, you got under a right new here. tornado warning. Um, Elk City. You guys as well. Rotation here um, looks slightly more. This is what people were like in Minden about two months before that happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> certain, right, that the reason they issued this big warning is likely just they as are probably cautionary on measure, your shelters, you just know. in case the storm you know, pop right in, they, 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 of it. Um, so you all should they're take they're shelter uh, because of that. Damn, okay. I'd be hanging right at my shelter just watching it come and I just pop. I'm playing chicken in I got 30 seconds. <laughs> Might even keep the door open on it. Yeah, big inflow here, folks. Oh man, 
tide's just starting. Look at this thing. Yeah. Oh, boy. We still got two hours of daylight. Hey, again, flow. I'm sure you guys can feel it. Storm's going berserk now. Well, the jet's got to be increasing. It's almost seven. <coughs> Jimmy on the ground, though. Yep. <laughs> Staring it down. Like spread <laughs> out. Oh, let me show you guys something real quick on the. Uh... Well, I got a similar thing that personality we... that guy from Montana. We reluctantly look at every once in a while. That, your friend from Montana. Long. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, bro. You messaged my dad. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I told you that. Hold on. Road closed Saturday. Oh, you're fine. Let's go! Just kidding. Just kidding. Whoa. Big blow's ripping. Jeez, that flag's about to fly off the wall. Hello. Oh, it shouldn't be offline. I'm literally on a different store, but it should be here. Kick it off, kick it on, see how that's Anyways, um, I'm trying to zoom in on this here. Give me a, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, this this is, is a, a simulated forecast model. Crazy. It's obviously takes us separated from the line. The rest Holy of the cow. night. Okay. We've got back there, guys. Uh, Let's go. Look at that. It's turning into a mothership. Essentially, yeah. uh, the major mothership. Uh, I just want to show you one thing. Okay, we've got a lot of uh, nader juice out there right now. Or... We were chasing that volleyball hail day out here, coming right on this road. Yeah. Like a bunch of dusty little tours. Dust busters. Uh, you know, ingredients that um, could potentially lead to the formation of tornadoes. We're talking about convective available potential energy, storm relative helicity. Uh, Blah, 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 blah. But like we'll put it all into a composite uh, parameter here and it makes it really easy to visualize. Look what happens as I go into the future. Uh, we are around uh, uh, 6 or 7 p.m. Central and then let's go just three hours into the future. Boom, you see a massive expansion of those favorable ingredients here uh, all up and down uh, the corridor of where storms will be convected. Um, in the fact, big base off the northeast too. Look at that base. There might be on the ground behind that rain. Wouldn't um, be surprised. I got over back in the values. Ready? Um, late tonight around 9 p.m. Uh, or 10 p.m. Uh, so, it's off. It ain't um, working. It's currently 6 p.m. Central. Yeah, it's still on. Uh, and, yeah, things actually continue to be more intense <laughs> all the way through <laughs> midnight. It ain't working. And it's going to start calling down until uh, 1 a.m. or so. <laughs> so... Remember, here we are right now. <laughs> this is the rest of the night. I got it! It's like so I slug. just want to hopefully put that into perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we had a good laugh. <laughs> um, we do have a lot more to go here. Okay, all of them are going out. We got swallows under here. As far as um, our... Man, when you feel that inflow, it just changes the whole thing, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, he says you're off. Favorable okay. ingredients for tornadoes go. You're back. Coming back. Yeah, it's back. You're back. You're on, Go west on Highway 36. Yeah. Big blue. It's 
Yeah, we definitely severe. got time to get it on this road, right? Yeah. A considerable severe in Iowa. That's not to Duval yet. Williamsburg, North English, Sigourney, Kyoto, Iowa. Um, expect inch, one inch in diameter hail, which is about yeah, quarter size. In potentially uh, even winds over 70 miles per hour, which is uh, an upper echelon a severe thunderstorm warning. They only they only issue those uh, whenever we expect more uh, damaging winds than usual. Front view. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay. Dennis Hayden, thank you for the very generous super chat there, man. You didn't have to do that. Richard, thanks for becoming a member. Also, I almost missed it. Actually, I think I did miss it. North option, 3.7 miles to 70. Yes. Thunder's right here. Hold on. Ready? Yep. Ready. There it is. I think I can see it right at at least a rain curtain out there. You're on. See that curtain? Yeah, yeah, over there. Sized hail. 60 mile per hour winds. New to severe thunderstorm watch just got issued as well. Let me show you that. Severe thunderstorm watch all the way over to Milwaukee and Kenosha. This includes Madison. 70 mile per hour wind gusts possible. Scattered hey, point two nine. inches of diameter and a couple of tornadoes possible. charge it? Yeah, we're good. We'll look at it. 
left. You're in the clear right yeah. here. I wish we had a farther zoomed out view of the storm coming out of Burke Burnett now. I can't get it when they uh, they the front front in front of you. Yeah. Uh, the front. Incredible shelf cloud. Probably one in there, don't you think? Look at that, you can even see the rain wrapping in front of it. It is. It's gone nuts. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. That's a, that might be on the ground. He's going north. Thank God. Charging it, find another dirt east. Yeah, you can. Look at that, it's a 5.2. Curve north, east, north, west. Uh, west. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, when you go up here to Diwali. Okay, that's a tornado. Yeah. That's really tight. Everybody else is taking those roads, so. Hey, you're gonna have a visual of it here pretty quick. We're gonna see how it works.
Put the fat one. Yeah, right there, Robert. Got it. Look at that, big time. Harry. You might even be able to okay. get it if it's so in there, the guys. There's spin. a tornado in there. We should get it. Uh, Look at that. Look at it go in the there. Um, as what do you think? Could be. Uh, that whole thing is like, the circulation, uh, I think. Yeah, it is. Honestly, go, go, go to get it? Hey, this is your road. It's yeah, oh, it's going to try to get it intercept. Oh, do you think then? Perry. Uh, Just let you know that's your road. Where yeah. Highway 64 well, that is, yeah, that's and Interstate 35 yeah. interest. Yeah, trying to get in it? Hopefully oh, he can turn us back right around. Probably. Because here it is. Here go. Trying to get into that inflow zone, and it's going to slide a little north of us. Flow. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got a little bit of uh, an Probably a tour. there in our storm that's yes. coming into the areas north of Perry, Oklahoma. Uh, on radar, we do see the uh, oh. velocities showing a little bit more uh, uh, rotation. Hey, that front edge is a little funnel. It continues to look like a developing supercell unreflected. Look at that we'll front edge. Produce a tornado, so we're following it. The funnel there. Weird little funnel. Chris and Nick Gordon. Put it back behind it. As they uh, continue to show us what's going on, I think Riley is also. Hey, we got a north story. option here. Um, on these. Uh, yeah, if you want to go north, I'm not saying you want to turn. Okay. Yeah, check in. We've got a half a uh, half a mile. Yeah, we can go east. Yeah, we can go east. Sure. You can turn right here. Then. Big oh, God. Show. Uh, uh, Oklahoma, uh, in the Randlett area. Tornado in there, we could just intercept it right here. Also, Zach Hall is getting close to that storm, too. That takes you straight east to north. Yeah. The blip's doing it, yep. A couple different things that we got to watch out for here with our storm coming out of uh, Oak Burnett into Randlett up to yeah. Cookie Ooh, Town yeah. and Waiters it. or Walters. That's it. It's coming down right there. And, uh, Right in front of us! Strong news. New information. Tornado. This tornado warning has been upgraded. Was it south or these? It was right over here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cranking them out. Come on. Yes, let's go. Another one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Yeah, that was a satellite. 
with these storms. See warning on the, on the, on the screen here. Literally, just every storm chaser's needs to be flashing like a strobe light. It's it's a big seller wave here, folks. Electric. I think. We're going all at the same speed of it. Perspective of the Zach. Back east here. Yeah, you go east here. The one that's coming out of Burke Burnett, moving up towards yeah. Walters, Oklahoma now. Take it for a bit though. Well, I mean, you want, I don't want to get stuck on it. Yeah, we may not want to. Push it, me. Uh oh. You don't push it, that could be a ditch right there. It is. Yeah, hold on. Stand by for it. That wind's going to push us like a sail, isn't it? You're going to ferry us more. Yeah. Just hold on. 
This isn't good though, we got a lot of rain coming, so I don't know how yeah, much cold, but I don't know. Oh, it yeah. says um, HP Supercell. You don't want to bury it worse. It's not a huge issue, but yeah. You'll hear them, you'll hear, you'll hear the storm chasers uh -huh. say LP and HP. Uh, we're just talking about uh, uh, low precipitation and high precipitation. The low precipitation ones are the yeah, we'll ones be able where to get you out of here. clearly see I the base. Give it a shot. A bunch of rain. You ready? Maybe you guys should try it. I don't know. Ones, uh, Go for it. I'm going to put you in four low. Those will be the ones that produce rain-wrapped uh, tornadoes. And there we go. Just a neutral. lot of precipitation oh, coming out of the uh, base of the storm there. That's interesting. The ranch is going to be clear in a little bit. Uh, Bob Pack's got a really interesting view here. I think uh, we need to zoom in on him. Yeah, he's in uh, not let you move uh, he's near the, the storm no. that's coming out. I can try, the but. And Walters, yeah. Oklahoma. Is the four low? Okay. The yeah, four low is fine. So it's if you guys have the Omega app. Try again. And I think a lot of you guys do. Uh, you can look yeah. at these guys as screens yourself. JJAX down here, you can click on him. There's 500, 600 of you guys watching right now. There's a little bit of a lowering right there. Um, so yeah, you we have a uh, winch to deal with this, but there's no anchor. Put a link in the description. Um, uh, iOS, Android, you can get it down there. It's what I'm using literally to run this broadcast. Hold on, my this earpods. Sucks. I gotta switch Stop it out. Hold on. Fort Lowe shouldn't take us down at least. Should what? We're probably gonna have to winch it out. Yeah. It's the only tornado warning we have, but we have uh, about 25 uh, severe thunderstorm warnings uh, out there as well. Lots of uh, strong storms move in in and around Iowa City over here towards uh, Gavin, really Port, hard to get West out. Liberty, Washington, Fairfield, uh, <laughs> Iowa. Uh, get ready like for this. Oh, inch in diameter sure hail and uh, 60 ass. mile per hour winds over there. Uh, pretty much any severe thunderstorm running up here is uh, currently, yeah, you know, truck, promoting those types of threats right now. Um, severe uh, hail and wind. Tornado uh, circulations are a little bit less common up there right now. Yeah, you know, that'll be nice. A nice steel pole right there. I can just winch to.
point of view and Nick Busby's point of Get a rope. view. Uh, what we're seeing there is Get a, a shelf cloud um, and the high like precipitation the uh, inside of that. So look at this. Let me pull up uh, I can try. Bob full. Can you get down yeah, so that road, on the though? left side of your screen, every time, man. Okay. Every time I pull up, <laughs> they turn around. It's like they're waiting. I'm about to get they're waiting for you me to pull You can wait a little bit if we need to. <laughs> but anyways, on the left side of your screen there, you were seeing the, the brighter um, sort not of bad. Uh, uh, light coming off. You said off it's of not the, that bad, at least. The reflection from all of the precipitation falling out of the storm. Uh, and then on the other side, uh -oh! you were seeing the darker Air colors of the out. actual low cloud bases that you could see um, out ahead of the precipitation. So it kind of looked like there was a big tornado there, but it's, it was just an optical illusion a little bit. Just going to keep it at three. The uh, computer went out. But instead of turning it off and on, I'll just assume it's still on three. Yeah. It was it's solid so three. Hey, Ron, it's I'm not um, muted right now. I actually now. don't have a view of this storm anymore. Nope. We got up to the turnpike and sort of got cut off. Um, but if you switch over to the Oklahoma radar, um, it's scanning a little bit further up into this storm that's in red rock. Uh, further up, it is rotating like an absolute top just to the north northwest of red rock. Um, so that's something to watch over the next little bit as it moves towards Marland. Um, it does have the reflectivity look to it, so um, don't be shocked um, to see it come through. Yeah. Um, uh, Steven, Freddie McKinney, uh, Ryan Scholl, and Bryce Shelton are on that storm. We probably need to make sure that Freddie McKinney and uh, Bryce Shelton are up on the feed here. Um, as uh, we did... A new tornado warning Just get has a been issued. Tornado warning for that storm. Ponca City and Marland, Oklahoma, you are under a tornado warning, um, as this is once again probably the tenth time today that the supercell has decided they're going to try to form a tornado. It has been successful a couple of times. Nothing crazy. And this time it looks like it's going to probably be successful again uh, as it moves up towards Marland and Ponca City. You can see on uh, velocity here that we have a very uh, well defined rotation area. Hey Ryan, I just had a brief funnel from this newly tornado warned storm near Red Rock, Oklahoma. Yeah, Ryan Scholl. We got right. him up to uh, Chandra. Uh, okay, go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan, yeah, also the storm to the north and east of that now tornado warned storm uh, also looks pretty good from both the Tulsa radar, which shows you Suck a much better look at the mesocyclone on the uh, storm that just got tornado warned, uh, but also um, from the Vance Air Force Base radar as well. So two different radars sampling the storm about equidistant. Both of them look good. I bet that this storm would also get a tornado warning in eastern K County, Oklahoma. Ready? How many times have we said that today, right? Yeah. Give it gas! Uh, thank you. Uh, me Ga just I'm cranking with gas! another place that we're watching out for. Yeah. Uh, we're here near Silver now. We've said that a lot today. Uh, Cranola, Maple City. You guys will watch out as the storm comes up towards you. It's rotating, and uh, we might see a tornado warning for it too. 719 Central, lower level jet stream winds are slowly starting to increase ever so slightly, um, and the, the storms are probably going to start um, uh, taking advantage of that here, as we can see as the, the rotation is increasing a little bit. So, yeah, Ponca City, Oklahoma, you are under a tornado warning, and you need to take shelter here, um, because uh, we've got a very interesting looking storm uh, to say the least coming right oh, towards you yeah. ryan shoals got a live view of this thing. Oh, um, shit. Need to get oh my god <laughs> <laughs> he turned around <laughs> literally the fastest u-turn <laughs> i've ever seen do it once. the moment i clicked yeah, his button. Just give it a minute. But it's all, <laughs> it's all good, Storm Chaser. Uh, Ryan Scholl uh, out there is uh, yeah. going to give us another view of this uh, really soon. Um, as soon as he gets yeah, turned around there, he is uh, near Marland in Noble County, Oklahoma, north of Red Rock. Okay, he's turning around now. 
think it, will, it would be to his left what we need to look at here. So we're going to keep him. All right. Um, Not even that much of a ditch. But there. see, this uh, computer went off. I could turn it off and back on, but we'll just assume it's at the top it's still three. High. Storm chasers Eric, Bob, side. and Nick. They are on the Texas storm. Yeah, or the actually, it's now technically the Oklahoma storm up there near. Um, the Vince uh, said it could come uh, Walter, with lunch too. Walters, by uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, um, working and then on it. The yeah, bottom three idea. chasers, Freddie McKinney, he can uh, Bryce Shelton, back. and oh, Ryan Scholl, are it's on our developing that. storm near Marlin. Yeah. Uh, Freddie McKinney has a great view of that. Wow. Plus, we can't go back anyway. We have to. Yeah, go that looks like here. a uh, you know really impressive Probably storm. Probably just drag us through this Rotating there as it comes up towards Marlin and Old Bliss. Great view of that from uh, Freddie McKinney. Oh, no, not getting out yet. <laughs> you were about to open up for you. Yeah, hit the buy is probably uh, Of course it's just spitting CGs out down here. <coughs> so annoying. I just wanna quench us out and go like Uh, Justin, yeah, thank you for that. There is a little storm forming over here. <coughs> uh, north and east of Tulsa. Um, I, I don't know how much we will get out of that. Uh, but yeah, that you're right. We should be watching that one as well. Here it comes. <laughs> that, uh, if that grows much, that'll be a problem. It'll be fine with the lightning. It's okay. It'll probably be fine. There's a lot yeah, of telephone poles down here. Looks really gnarly. Uh, this is that storm a little bit farther down to the south, uh, closer to Lawton to and Ramblet. We'll I'd say it. Bob's actual location now is closer to Walter now. Walters, uh, Oklahoma now. Just worried we'll but, just get dragged uh, yeah, to the ditch here. This is a shelf cloud and a half uh, visible from uh, Storm Chaser Bob Pack here as this very strong storm continues to uh, prompt a tornado position. warning in Walters and Temple, Oklahoma. Let's go back to storm chaser Freddie McKinney's view of this developing storm up here in uh, northern Oklahoma now. Uh, this is the one that's coming up into Marlin. You know, and yesterday and it looks a potential really sponsor from this angle. wrote in, and they make a too. product for it also this looks exact fairly impressive on radar, use so. case. This might be the we couldn't have gotten it in time. Be, uh, watching a uh, a tornado try to form. Yeah. Automotive sponsors. We can get out of this though. We can get out of this. Wow. Done That's this many times more before. Impressive uh, structures we've seen today. Uh, this is a live look out of Noble County Feel near it. Red Rock, um, Oklahoma, looking up towards Marland at a uh, super a new tornado to warning a tornado. has been issued. We just got a new tornado warning uh, back here for our more southern storm. Um, you can see our storm chasers um, looking at that in the three slots down there below us. Um, we've got uh, Walters uh, and Duncan now under a tornado warning in <laughs> Oklahoma. Stuck a lot of Radar indicated. Here. It's going to go for the next 36 minutes. Okay. Hey, Ryan, this is Freddie here on the uh, Maryland, Oklahoma tornado warning storm. This wall cloud just keeps getting bigger and bigger here as it tracks northeast. Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're watching this uh, stream from Freddie McKinney and we're noticing the same thing. Huge wall cloud rotating uh, mesocyclone on our storm here. It's a little slick! Uh, near well, Marland, you don't have any traction, do you? Or Maryland, Oklahoma. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens I with this. We, we do have a little that spool, Skippy. sail. That has popped up here. Uh, that's going to try to um, come up into the uh, the hook of the storm. So we'll see how it handles that interaction. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, rotating quite a bit and uh, trying its best to produce a tornado as it approaches the areas between Marland and Ponca City. 
take shelter now. Um, in Ponca City, also, you guys can expect 1.75 inch in diameter hail along with the potential for a tornado. So, um, uh, get away from windows, get indoors, all that good stuff. It's going to be a strong storm. Yeah, it's really nice. He's up, he's down, he's a chaser. And he's no. Right yeah. Oh, look, look at this. Just push on the gas. Oh, we missed it. We got a shot of Freddie McKinney's dad there in the driver's seat. Father and son duo, I believe. Storm chasing masters. Um, Nick Busby, Walters, Oklahoma, getting that shelf cloud of the tornado one storm now coming I'm gonna up to. Um, and Bob Pack are both on that, pretty much that same storm. Uh, the bottom three that you see there though are uh, are more northern uh, tornado warning uh, uh, near Marland and uh, Ponca City. Yeah, the hook looks pretty impressive. The velocity looks not as much impressive, I guess, uh, from this point of view. I'm going to check it out from uh, Tulsa. Yeah, even from Tulsa, it doesn't look as uh, connected as it did earlier. Okay, do a shot again. Ready? Yeah. We're moving. But it doesn't change the fact that it's definitely rotating. We are. see that very clearly. From uh, Ryan Scholl's point of view. And Freddy's. Okay. Our blips to the west of Oklahoma City are forming into slightly more mature storms. We've got some lightning now with the storm that's coming into Hinton. Uh, we've got some, uh, you know, larger storms moving up here close to Hennessy. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm doing what good with, with that. We've also got the official. Um, you know, uh, from the boundary back here, I'm starting to convect near Woodward, Sharon. Uh, so we'll have to watch those storms as well. But right now, out of everything that's going on, we've got the strong wind coming through Des Moines, or areas east of Des Moines, uh, west of Davenport. We've got the strong A storms tornado in warning Wisconsin. Has been issued. We've got the uh, strong storms in, in Kansas. Now one of those has a tornado warning with it. Uh, the most uh, impressive uh, areas that we're watching are right here and right here as far as the overall uh, severity of the storms go. But I do want to zoom in for you on that Kansas tornado warning. Yeah, let me, I'm going to unhook this and I want to see how far back you can go. Okay. Got a little bit of rotation here. Near Kritzer, north uh -oh. and west of Mound City. I don't City, think we can go very far because the back corner is wedged. Lasinge and uh, the back Lynn corner Valley. might be buried. You're gonna want to take shelter. Back now. Off corner. This is a precautionary tornado warning. Hopefully, it's not needed, but um, we want to heed it and we want to take it seriously and get to our safe spots immediately. Riley Dibble has a view of our storm as well, I think. This is up there near Noble County. Back up! Storm approaching Ponca City. It's been trying so hard to produce a tornado. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, but it looks like it's having a hard time right now.
Go forward. I can really gun it if you want me to. But I, I could really. Gun it. I'm just worried it will sink further, but I gotta grab onto something. By the way, uh, some of the tornadoes that happened yesterday are already starting to receive preliminary ratings. We've got a couple of uh, EF3s uh, that have occurred um, and a couple more EF2s. Um, and that's preliminary, so that could change once they get a little bit more data in. It's uh, kind of an estimation. So a lot of tornadoes happened yesterday. It'll take a while for them to finish that assessment. Get a room. New Storm Prediction Center Mesoscale Discussion highlights an area from, you know, the Wichita Falls area of Texas all the way up past Oklahoma City and Tulsa. That'd be better. I'm just keeping it neutral. <laughs> Stating that a new tornado watch. Like we're will burying be the center. tires. Yeah. See if Vince can come out. So basically, what's happening here is between now, it's it's just after zero Z. Okay, it's uh, 7.33 Central. Between now and about three hours from now, the th there's two different kinds of things that happen. Uh, well, <laughs> to put it extremely simply, there, there's two major factors that go into, um, you know, uh, tornado situations. you got thermodynamics and kin kinematics. Um, so far today, the thermodynamics have been there for some of the storms, and that's why we've seen some major storms in Texas and you know we've seen some you know big time storms pop up uh, you know in, in some places and uh, but maybe in, in some cases the the kinematics or the wind shear the the, uh, the upper level you know changing of, of winds and stuff maybe that hasn't been there as much over the next three hours the wind shear the wind the, the, the kinematics are going place. to uh, explode well, in their the warehouse. Um, oh, yeah. favorability for tornadoes I guess that um, we're gonna see a big time uh, uptick in the uh, storm uh, relative uh, um, uh, helicity and streamwise vorticity uh, uh, that these storms can take advantage of however storms will need to be very mature uh, to uh, properly take advantage of it so over the next three hours if these no. storms like the one near Palm uh, City on the ground to strengthen um, they are going to have a very good opportunity to produce big tornadoes, um, uh, unfortunately. So that's why we're probably going to see a new tornado watch that will be uh, that will be allowed to last longer into the evening, uh, and maybe even into the early morning hours uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna suck in the ditch, but it might unhook us back. Yeah, we definitely know. sunk. The tires sunk uh, a little. Every time I look at the chat, I, I, I see you guys talking about Reed. The Dominator is apparently stuck in the mud. Uh, if uh, you, this is the one day Caleb Beecham uh, has, you know, needed Feel all. some movement. All year, he's in a wedding today. Um, he's got Hall Force One. If we had Hall Force One on the road, we'd go rescue Reed. I think Hall Force One could pull the Dominator out of some mud. I really do. I, none of our other chasers have trucks, I don't think.
This is why it's very important that Hall Force One is on the road, y'all. Considerable severe thunderstorm warning for Stonewall County, Texas. And we also got ourselves a new tornado warning in Kansas for Sherryvale and Independence. Big time rotation here, uh, broad, but big time. Uh, get ready in Cherryvale for some, maybe some tornadic activity here soon. Tornado warning continues We're for Lynn Valley. We're just bouncing, I think. You're getting quite a bit. I did? There we go. We moved. Something. That was something. A new tornado warning has been issued. Yeah, tornado warning there for Montgomery County, Kansas. A new tornado warning has been issued. And a new, new tornado warning. Damn. Just north, what? Just north of Wichita Falls. Um, for Byers and Hastings. This is a very strong storm that's coming into you there. And we are about to experience a, a merger. Uh, right here. You see this cell right here that kind of goes past uh, Wichita Falls up into this. Um, maybe we're expecting uh, Circulation's some, uh, just west increased of Walters. rotation as a result of that. Um, but yeah, we can see some broad rotation here near Thornberry and Charlie. Moving towards Hooper, Byers, and Hastings. Take shelter uh, if you're in those areas. All the way to Duncan and Marlow, Oklahoma. The uh, tornado what? warning exists there as well. Oh, I think it's the winch. The winch, yeah. He's like, he's like trying to um, okay. um, yeah, the Duncan, uh, Oklahoma, you guys are under a tornado warning, but thankfully the storm that's coming for you, the rotation associated with that is let up a little bit. Um, but this is what's coming for you. If oh, you're in uh, Duncan, right. Oklahoma, this storm is what's on its way to you, the, what Bob Pack is looking at here. And um, it's going to be strong. Probably There's going to be lots of winds. And there is an opportunity for it to produce a tornado. But that um, opportunity is lower, I guess, than what it was earlier. Reed's going to have to need a rollback wrecker. Oh, Who's no. That? That's never good. Oh. I know that feeling. I've been there. Multiple times. Hell yes! Uh, Angela, th thank you for that. And Todd Farley, thank you for that. If you're just now tuning in, this is wall-to-wall -wall coverage of a massive severe weather outbreak that continues to go on uh, between Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas. Iowa and also um, Wisconsin. The vast majority of our tornadic activity is happening between 
Wichita Falls and Kansas City um, with an emphasis on Oklahoma. In fact, uh, we just got a new warning, I think, in Oklahoma. Yeah, they uh, kind of extended out that uh, warning just to the east of Ponca City there for uh, areas just south of Call City. And uh, we've got a bunch of storm chasers on that one too, so we'll, we'll keep you. Updated on that. The rotation doesn't look as strong, once again, as it once did. We're about to see another interesting interaction here with the cell, though. It's still super cellular. It's still got a hook. It's still rotating. This cell here is going to come and, like, move into that uh, hook. We'll see what happens as a result of that. that sometimes can change things for our storms here. The rain stops real soon. It's trying, it's, well, maybe not. I mean, more rain's moving in now. I think we'll get breaks. No, we're just effed. Try again? Try, try, try forward again. Yep. Feel the winch, just inches. Another thing that's kind of keeping storms from uh, really firing, I, I think here west of Oklahoma City, is um, uh, you know when the storms first started popping up over here, they were explosive and created huge anvils and uh, higher level clouds have kind of uh, you know kept instability down just a little bit across a lot of Oklahoma here. So it's kept a cap in place uh, for a little bit longer than maybe originally expected. But, uh, uh, you know, low level shear is, is once again slowly but surely more he he supportive of, uh, oh, wow. of tornadoes as time goes on. So it's any like storm that starts to interact worse. with that, whether there's a lot of them or, or just a few of them, uh, is, is unfortunately going to have to be something that we watch here over the next several hours. Uh, the big rectangle here is considering the uh, the probability of a watch. Ninety five percent. We're uh, hey, we're, we're, we're west of Ponca City right now. Looks like with that latest data, uh, it looks like you have a tornado developing east of the city of Ponca City. That was Brad. Mesoskeletal discussion from the National Weather Service. There's a 95% chance of a new tornado watch being issued here for portions of uh, northwest Texas up through much of Oklahoma. <laughs> Strong shear is in place. Um, although the atmosphere is slightly capped, supercells and thunderstorm clusters are expected to continue and increase in aerial coverage later this evening as the trough shifts east. New tornado watch is warranted. 
So we're we're just gonna see a new tornado watch issued for this area right here. He's got mad. That's a good truck right there. Is he looking at back? Oh, there he is. Hey! A new tornado warning has been issued. We got a new tornado warning in Cali County, Maybe the Kansas. Needs to try. Vince is Logan. coming too, I guess. Yeah, Vince is gonna... uh, this time we're talking about Hoosier. Hoosier. Uh, earlier today, we had a tornado warning for Dexter and Cloverdale, and I believe the, the storm that went through Dexter actually caused some damage. Uh, but now, Hoosier, uh, you guys are under a uh, tornado warning. You're going to want to hey! get to shelter. There is some uh, rotation there. We could just wait here for two days till it dries. <laughs> so, just so you know, I'm glad people are being entertained enough this to rain subscribe band is to this back nonsense. In too. A new tornado that rain warning band has been issued. Out. <clears throat> but and we just got a new here's Team Dominator. They're back here. Um, for here is uh, Connor. Oklahoma he, now. He's uh, uh, he's up here in this feed, uh, so you can see that he's in front, front of it, following. keeping an eye on it. Remember, obviously, this thing has been trying to produce the Dominators a in the ditch. Time now, it hasn't been able to. Properly, they are looking at chat uh, for a while, but just now, reading every single again, suggestion for the probably the tenth time, it looks very. Uh, capable uh, of, of trying to produce a tornado here. Just at, uh, we've, been in a, <clears throat> we've been in this situation the, uh, many um, uh, the, the base times of it. before. So, uh, we know all the tricks. We know which ones do work, which ones don't work. Hardy in uh, Oklahoma. We need to be uh, getting into our safe spot. I think this has probably happened at like 20 times. This thing times. has went plumb across uh, almost the entire state of Oklahoma, rotating the entire time. Like total started to the south and west of uh, Oklahoma City. A tornado warning continues for Duncan and Marlowe. Like, over like two decades or so. So that's not, that's not bad. That storm that you're looking at there in uh, southwestern Oklahoma is what you can see from. Uh, it really does suck when you're storm chasers in super the, tight. The top row. <clears throat> Just to put in perspective, too, I think the bottom row, three days ago more they were in Norman. That we're looking they at there. Drew, drove all the way to Iowa. They drove all the way back. It's like when you jump on one of our streams, they're just in the car and they're pretty close to the storm. What you're not seeing is the, is that the overnight. drives the it's it's rough so when this happens yeah, yeah. you're just like you have to you have to I'll be able to laugh once the rain stops so if you have no sense of humor you're not going to make kidding. it chasing no i'm just letting it go now let's get a quick view of uh what connor's got here I don't want to open the door because then the uh, yeah, make the airbag. Not gonna open the door. The airbags will empty out a little bit. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get out, or the airbags will get lower. Okay, let's turn it off and back right, on. Just reading some stuff here. And what <clears throat> what Reed's talking about with the airbags aren't Word. the like accident airbags. They're 
Yeah. Uh, hey, we appreciate all y'all's help for we, real, though. We have a bunch of airbags that fill up and then power the doors as they go up and also powers, you know, the, um, the dominator lifting it up and down and everything. So the compressors what, go what on, you, they fill up the airbags, you, you open the doors like 50 times, and then they're, they're deflated, so then they need to pump back up again. It's all in the Dominator 3 Ultimate Tour uh, video. The storm that Nick Busby is on near Byers, Texas, is uh, still uh, looking pretty ominous, both on radar and uh, in real life there, as you can see from his uh, point of view. Um, however, yep. the velocity... <sighs> is um uh, you know not as not nearly as impressive as it was uh whenever we were watching it come out of uh texas there so that's good news he thinks he could pull okay, us we got out that the new rope, tornado right? watch that just came out yeah. i've been through this before this is the i've one been out here all that night includes uh, oh, oklahoma yeah. city which Topic Halls, Ardmore, like McAllister, 10 years Tulsa, ago Bartles, Bartles <coughs> but we were uh yeah. A few tornadoes likely. We're not supposed to Wide take these roads hail, in this up to car. two-inch size likely. <laughs> Scattered gusts up to 70 miles per hour likely. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And that's going to go until 3 a.m. Central. New tornado watch has been issued. And there you go. We just got the audio alert for it. Three, almost 4 million people are under that new tornado watch. So if you know anybody in any of these um, potentially impacted areas from Oklahoma City to Wichita Falls to Abilene to Ardmore, McAllister, Tulsa, Bartles, Bartlesville, uh, please let them know that there is a tornado watch tonight. And um, if you want to send them a link to our stream, uh, we will be here for quite a while monitoring these storms and uh, relaying warnings as they come out. I kind of sampled Richard it. Richard you know, Logan, felt thank you. When we first got on it. Here's another guy. We got plenty of another truck guy? Yeah. The storm is still tornado warned, by the way. There's, there's another tornado warning to the south, too, actually. See the red boxes? That's 20. Yeah, there's no point in me getting out. One. Now we have severe thunderstorm <coughs> warnings also all the way up here. We found the lowest point in this entire place. Uh, Frederick, uh, Kalkaska. Um, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings up there. Uh, quarter sized hail. Maybe some 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, possible up here uh, in uh, all the way up into Michigan and son we've got uh, severe thunderstorm warnings maybe it wasn't 20 too. times maybe it was like four up here near uh, Espanola Massey Kil Killerney Whitefish Falls yeah, it's a, Blind River it's in the back so our northernmost severe back thunderstorm back. warning right now is in Canada and our southernmost warning is way down here near Abilene, uh, Texas, and they are both connected in to the same storm system, essentially. A new tornado, new tornado warning has been issued. Big one that goes all the way up to Rush Springs and Marlowe. 
uh, in uh, Oklahoma. That's going to be associated with the the storm that prompted the warning back here towards Walters. Uh, the rotation that originally um, kind of prompted that warning is mostly gone. So this is a precautionary tornado warning just in case this thing it's starts definitely a pure spin QLCS again. Now. And um, I think it, it very well could. So Rush Springs and Marlowe, yeah. you guys need yeah. to take shelter now. I am because it's heading toward my fucking house. Okay, I'm hearing reports that Reed is officially unstuck, so that's good. It would have happened faster if Hall Force One was out there. Sorry, guys. What a sunset. I'll switch over to you. Oh, it's not working. No, rovers. Sorry, That's another one the rovers did. Yeah. A new tornado warning has no, been issued. No, another no, new... We've had a lot of tornadoes. Okay. Well, the line's moving east. Tornado warnings today. Uh, another new tornado warning here for portions of Kansas uh, south of Galesburg. This is my job. Um, north and east of Cherryvale. A uh, rotation on this storm. It's hard to, it's hard to decipher. Um, we're not getting the, the best data here uh, from our radar. Um, however, <coughs> you can tell that there is a rotating missile cyclone. In there and uh, we need to watch out for that. Um, uh, oh, yeah. South of Galesburg, like Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this I'm is like, a dangerous yeah. storm. Take shelter now. Do you have shovels? Like 50 people with shovels? I mean, uh, the problem is it sinks down to the shell. Oh, yeah. And it's just scraping, huh? Man, what's this start? Yeah. This thing slides pretty easy. Do, obviously. It slid yeah. fast. What was it? You were saying no. Uh, Olaf says yeah, 100k kind of on stream everything. is unreal. Glad everyone's being weather aware, by the way. I did find that Blit merch and I got myself a shirt. Uh, thanks for everything y'all the all squad does. Olaf, thank you so much for the it happens so, awesome support so today. Just kind of oh yeah, it was. Kate on stream is unreal. I know we have we've had a lot of uh, viewers uh, over the past couple of days, so we, we appreciate you guys for helping us spread the word. Hopefully, we're still getting out there to people because we do bag. have more storms coming tonight. And uh, also, uh, just for anybody who's unaware. Uh, we Got a also, hook? speaking of 100k specifically uh, we've also now uh, almost raised between yesterday and today uh, we've raised $120,000 uh, for uh, victims of uh, you know storms uh, specifically uh, the storms that are happening uh, today and, and yesterday uh, we are going to go um, uh, work real hard starting uh, probably tomorrow as long as we don't have to go live tomorrow um, with planning how we're going to um, distribute that and, and we're working with emergency managers and, and fire departments and stuff up there and uh, we're going to make yeah. sure that that goes to good I could turn use. it off and back on again so yeah that's that's huge it's crazy that we're able to do that so quickly most of that came within like a three hour period which is absolutely oh, I was out by myself I just turned the car off and go to sleep out New considerable severe thunderstorm warning that goes all the way out there to Belmont. Uh, I can sleep right now, sir. 
uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> also includes uh, Wichita Falls, <laughs> and, uh, Texas, and Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, right for there. 70 mile per hour winds. I want to make we'll sure. We'll wake up and it'll be dry. Sure everybody knows that that is a, an upper echelon severe thunderstorm warning. It's considerable. It's not your average severe thunderstorm warning. 70 mile per hour winds are damaging, okay? <sighs> also, some hail uh, expected with that. Yep. Seventy-eight yeah. tornado warnings so far today. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, cool, man. I'll buy them for you. That'll be my gift for you being out here. What will? I, I'm gonna buy him some new shoes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gops says, uh, "What can uh, Scott City, Kansas, and Southwest Kansas expect in the next few hours?" Um, who's that? We better tell Vince to not come. <laughs> <laughs> we are watching uh, a few storms back here. A couple of these storms actually produced some tornadoes earlier today, or at least enough rotation to warrant tornado warnings. Um, uh, and, you know, that's still possible through a little bit of the rest of the evening, but we've just got scattered uh, severe storms out there producing some pretty large hail and uh, some strong winds. In fact, Ulysses. Uh, you know, you guys oh, are poor Jordan's shoes. under a uh, yeah, considerable said, severe thunderstorm warning for uh, up to baseball size hell. Yeah. 70 we'll mile per hour winds with that one. That's let's a, get a let's pretty get intense warning there. Uh, yeah. really then, nice yeah. uh, some smaller hail and some winds are going to yeah. be possible up here near okay. Moreland. And, and <sighs> Jordan's. He needs dress shoes. Probably is a tornado on that thing. Uh, no, no, Kansas as well. Uh, so yes. There could Scott be a tornado City. there south. Just keep an eye out on these storms as they kind this of pull around you. Might hit the um, I don't know but what right now, in the, the immediate house, future, we're not expecting anything big. <laughs> Probably a squall. We currently have seven yeah. tornado warnings. All of them are radar indicated. Yeah. Also. We technically only have three storms that we're watching. Um, uh, we have this big cluster down here, um, you know, in the Texas and Oklahoma border region. We have new this information. Storm north this tornado Punk. warning this has been upgraded, uh, and we have the storm up here in Kansas. We now have a confirmed tornado warning, though. Right now, it's raining. Uh, in our uh, storm near Rush Springs. Marlow, Duncan, and Rush Springs, you are under a tornado warning oh, that double. is now observed. Oh. Weather spotter. Let's do the confirmed double Confirmed the tornado near Pumpkin Center. Hug. <laughs> Those chains could break. When we did this 10 years ago, the chain snapped and broke out the back window of the trucks and stuff that were out there. They came out with like liquor and everything. So, they're going to try to. As just far as what I'm able to see here through um, velocity, which is not a lot. Power? Uh, I don't see, you know, a, a, a lot of rotation. Like but we've got know, weather spotters, no <laughs> I can, you know, uh, reporting a tornado somewhere here between uh, uh, Nelly and Pumpkin Center. So, um, take shelter if you're in Marlow or Rush Springs. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> <that man. laughs> I mean, yeah. I like think if you, if you're, yeah, I think you compile that. It would definitely have. Way more resistance. Yeah. Eight tires on the ground.
a new tornado has been issued. And we just got a new tw I took it all. I definitely should know the answer. Tornado warning for Osage County, Oklahoma. That's going to be a continuation. Uh, our last three days for our storm here <laughs> that, that has went through Ponca City. Uh, now it's going up towards Grainola, Four Acre. Um, you're under a tornado warning up there, and uh, this storm looks still pretty impressive. It's got a nice hook, rotations there, um, and we're watching it as it comes down uh, towards uh, Grainola. I might get out soon. Nick Busby is on our storm.